All right, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Julie McKinnis. I am the Wildlife Campaign Manager with Humane Society International. I'm here to talk about the Free Willy Bill, Bill S203, ending the captivity of whales and dolphins. This bill would end the captivity of whales and dolphins for profit and entertainment purposes, as well as the associated captive breeding programs and the trade of these animals. Now, I'm thrilled that the government decided to end the live capture of cetaceans in Canadian waters. However, uh, these animals haven't been captured in Canadian water since 1992. So although this, is, this had been a great step forward, these programs tend to breed the animals in captivity and trade with, between facilities. So this is why this bill is so important and there's still a ways to go. Overwhelmingly, Canadians care about animal protection needs and they want to see a humane future where we treat animals with respect and compassion. The world's top marine scientists agree whales and dolphins lead lives of severe deprivation and captivity, depression and illness. I'm grateful to Senator Moore and Sinclair for last week's milestone in this bill passing the Senate. Uh, also thanks to Elizabeth May for your leadership and bringing this bill to the House. Uh, behind me, we have support from politi all political parties. You know, regardless of political stripes, uh, Canadians and politicians agree that this bill should be passed. So I have Don Davies here from NDP. Um, we have uh, Mario Bolu, from the Chef National de Bloc Québécois, and Elizabeth May from the Greens. Um, I'd also like to show a photo here of how we would all like to see whales and dolphins. This is, how w this is how Canadians want to see whales and dolphins. We don't want to see them in tiny tanks. We don't want to see them in captivity for profit and entertainment purposes. Uh, imagine your whole life in a tiny tank where all you can do is swim in circles and you're isolated and you're away from your family pod. This is not how Canadians want to see whales and dolphins. It's not natural and it's not, it's not fair. These animals are autonomous and they're not ours to capture and confine. So with that, I'd like to have Don Davies speak uh, to this bill. Thank you. I'm, I'm very pleased to offer uh, my support and I believe the support of my colleagues in the New Democratic Party to this important <clears throat> bill. Um, captive cetaceans experience isolation, shortened lifespans, abnormal behavior, and high infant mortality. According to Carly Ferguson, president of the Ontario Captive Animal Watch, 20 orcas died prematurely at marine land since 1973, one of the worst records in the world for captive orca deaths. Evidence suggests that even the best intentioned captive facilities cannot provide for the social and biological needs of these intelligent, social, and acoustically sensitive marine mammals. Confinement and social isolation are used as punishment for humans. When our species is kept in small indoor spaces without any control over our environment or food sources, we experience profound psychological harm. It's clear that the same negative impacts occur for these highly intelligent creatures. Frankly, it's cruel. Cetaceans require social interaction and sufficient space to maintain both their physical and psychological well-being. We simply cannot justify inflicting this needless suffering for the sake of our own entertainment. It's time to do the right thing, and I'm very pleased to see this bill brought forward in Parliament. Finally, I'm pleased to note that the Vancouver Aquarium this January announced that it will no longer house cetaceans with the exception of emergency rescue animals and hell in the Pacific white-sided dolphin. But we can't rely on voluntary codes in this country. We need the force of federal law to make sure that we can make this profoundly necessary and important change. Thank you. Bonjour. Le Bloc québécois est fier d'appuyer ce projet de loi qui est amené par Mme May notamment. Je pense que la cruauté envers les, les animaux doit être débattue, doit être contrée 
euh, le plus fortement possible. Euh, les, les Québécoises, les Québécois l'ont manifesté très souvent pour eux, la protection des, am des animaux. C'est très important. On a vu même, le, le, quand il y a eu un projet de port euh, pétrolier à Kakuna, c'est lorsqu'on a démontré que les baleines étaient menacées, les, les belugas, que euh, le dossier s'est mis à bouger très rapidement. Alors, euh, on appuie euh, de tout cœur euh, ce projet de loi euh, sur les baleines et les dauphins. Merci. Oh. <coughs> oh, I also just like to welcome Nathaniel Erickson Smith from the Liberal Party. He was uh, here to speak as well. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, I don't have any remarks prepared other than uh, earlier, about a month and a half ago, I held an event in my riding with Phil Demers, a former marine land trainer turned whistleblower, uh, and he described uh, marine land as a day at the spa. Uh, or sorry, he described SeaWorld as a day at the spa in comparison to Marine Land, and we showed a uh, blackfish. And I understand blackfish actually was, uh, in part, the impetus for Senator Moore to introduce S203 in the first place. Uh, it's incredible to see just how many people uh, are involved in pushing this forward from politicians like uh, Senator Moore, Senator Sinclair, and now uh, Ms. May, and moving it in the House of Commons, but also Canadians across the country. So. Uh, we have had hundreds of people in my community reach out and and raise their voices and and and, and call on government to act to to protect the lives of animals and to improve protections for the lives of animals, including uh, these beautiful creatures. We have had politicians like Karen Ludwig stand up in the House of Commons and move a motion to say uh, protecting whales is incredibly important and, and matters to Canadians. Uh, we've had Minister LeBlanc take some important steps in the Fisheries Act. Uh, we obviously need to, to do more and we need to make sure that we are uh, ending the inhumane and cruel practice of keeping cetaceans, whales, dolphins and porpoises in captivity. And I want to highlight that um, kids get this. The, the number of letters written to senators and written to MPs from kids across the country is incredible. And, and, and the drawings that kids have submitted uh, and, and they, they just understand this very simple but powerful idea that where animals think and feel, they deserve to be treated humanely, respectfully, and with compassion. And that's exactly what S203 will do. Thanks very much. And I, I want to thank Humane Society International and Julie, for, particularly for being here, uh, to MC our press conference. We wanted to make it clear from the beginning, as we begin to take this bill through the House of Commons, that this is a nonpartisan issue. It's very important if we're going to get this bill passed in the House so it can get to royal assent, uh, but before the next election, we need a lot of cooperation and a lot of goodwill on all sides. I know my colleague, last time we held a press conference in favor of S203, my colleague from Calgary and the Conservative Party, Michelle Rample, was here. Uh, we have a, a lot of support from a lot of MPs. Aujourd'hui, je serai tellement fier que je vais présenter ce projet de loi C. Uh, de toi, uh, pour première lecture dans la Chambre de Commune. So the first reading of the bill, I'm the House sponsor of a bill, just for those of you who aren't familiar with parliamentary process, this bill has started in the Senate, which is unusual. I want to again thank Senator Wilfred Moore of Nova Scotia, who's, who put this bill forward in December 2015. He had to retire before his bill got through the Senate. The Senate sponsor was then Senator Murray Sinclair. Again, huge honor to have Senator Murray Sinclair associated with this bill. So we have a lot of support across party lines. It was hard to get this bill through the Senate because of obstructionism by a handful of senators. But it is nonpartisan. There's a lot of science to support this. Et comme mon ami de Don Davies a déjà dit, il est cruel de garder ces créatures évaluées dans les, uh, en captivité. C'est vraiment cruel. Et quand, <laughs> quand, comme les, les citoyens de colombie britannique nous avons uh, eu cette été une uh, expérience vraiment uh, profonde, we had the, the moment when a, a southern resident killer whale in the wild gave birth to a calf that didn't live. And uh, J37 pushed that calf through the water, holding it above the water for 17 days. When you consider the mortality of calves in captivity, whale calves in captivity, we have the science and the science is constantly evolving. Uh, scientists were astonished this summer that uh, that, that ki southern resident killer whale w grieved. There was no word for it other than the human emotion of grief. Her, southern, her, her calf was born and did not live. 
and she pushed that calf through the water for 17 days. So we know whales experience uh, pain. They are uh, animals, as are all cetaceans, whales and dolphins. They need to be in the wild. I commend former Minister of Fisheries, Dominic LeBlanc, for banning the taking of whales and dolphins in captivity in a bill that's still before the Senate, Bill uh, C-68. Uh, but we really need to see S-203 passed to ensure that we will not ever again be keeping whales and dolphins in captivity in this country. Merci à tous mes collègues.